Hi, this is Neil Walters. I'm a BizTalk consultant here in Irving and Dallas, Texas. And a lot of times people ask, what is BizTalk? What does it do? What is its purpose? And so if you just want a quick overview, here it, here it is. So in this case, I'm explaining what BizTalk does in a B2B sense. B2B is business to business. So let me actually just add that on here. There's other things it does, and maybe I'll make another video about that. So on B2B, you're talking about one business communicating with another. So basically everything on the right side of this diagram over here is let's say you or your customer, I mean, sorry, your company, who you represent. And then let's say over here is everybody else outside your company. And so what happens is you have different people you have to deal with. You have vendors, you have customers, and you have trading partners. And they, they could be different ways you deal with people, but you need to send and receive data to and from these companies. And what BizTalk does is supports a wide variety of communications. This is just some of them. It supports web services, FTP, file transfer protocol, MQ series, MSMQ, DB, SQL, also, by the way, ES2 and other uh, EDI formats. And then there's the type of data it supports. It supports XML, JSON, CSV, which is comma separated value files, kind of like you find in spreadsheets that you can save from a, an Excel worksheet and it supports flat files. So it supports many different communications, many different data types. So what usually happens is your data comes in from another company and it goes into BizTalk. So BizTalk is like a hub that knows how to communicate with everybody. And your BizTalk developers and architects, they create software that runs within the BizTalk system. And they're, it's like a common pattern for doing things the same way. So I'm not gonna go into the details of that in this video. And then basically what BizTalk will do, it will talk to things inside your company. So you may be an SOA company, Service Oriented Architecture, and you may have web services. And maybe those web services talk to your internal systems. And your internal systems may be in-house systems that you developed yourself, or they may be third-party uh, COTS products, uh, is it off-the-shelf type products, uh, best-of-breed products. You may have SAP, for instance. Uh, these we're talking about things like ERP systems, enterprise resource planning systems, your CRM, customer management relationship systems. Whatever system you buy, basically BizTalk can somehow talk to it. And BizTalk also has special interfaces, to, for instance, to SAP. Then you can also read and write to databases from BizTalk. So there's different ways you can deal with it. That's what your architect has to decide what's the best way for you. So you have basically data coming in through one of these technologies, one of these communication methodologies, and one of these data types. You process the data in your system, and then oftentimes you acknowledge that data back to your external partner. And then maybe as you work on the data in your company, like maybe they make an order. And then when that order is ready to ship, you send them a message saying, hey, we're about to ship this. And then when you actually ship it, you send them another message that says, yes, we have shipped it and you should expect it on this date. And by the way, here's your tracking number. So those are just some of the things that BizTalk can do in a B2B scenario. Hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Neil Walters. I'm in Dallas BizTalk. I'm a BizTalk consultant again in Dallas, Texas. My number will be below the video or you can contact me from my websites. And if you ever need a BizTalk consultant, just uh, give me a look and we'll see if we're available or maybe I can refer someone to you. So it's good talking to you. Hope this video was helpful and I'll talk to you later.